I loved my mother so much. She was a drug addict. She was an alcoholic. She was legally blind. She was a schizophrenic. But I never forgot that she loved me. Even if she did. All the time. All the time. All the time. Live star of whom it Give me the money! If there were no television, it's mine. he would go door to door. God, it's mine! The state gives it to me! Who's Sam Donaldson? Oh, it's Sam Donaldson. You bring it this back, one cell protozoan gets its name from a Greek word meaning change. Amoeba. Well, what is amoeba? What is the amoeba? Where is it? Right. You're in the lead all by yourself. Please give it Biology to me. 400. Because there are no blood vessels in this layer of skin, nutrition is supplied by a tissue fluid. What is epidermis? What is the epidermis? Correct. If you need six I gave it to you. Let's go, Mom! I gave a hundred to you. This term. Oh, my checks came in. I gave a hundred to you, to one of you. Now have six oh, what are you? No, for us to live on. <laughs> Every month it is. It's the same damn thing. What is genus? So you what can put it in your arms so we can starve. It's mine. I, I didn't take it. Give it to me. The Oldenburg dynasty, founded by King Christian I, ruled this country from 1448 to 1863. What is Denmark? Give it to me. It's mine. It's mine. <laughs> We're hungry. I can't. We need food, Mommy. What did you ever do for me, huh? I gave you life. <laughs> do you want me to go out in the street and sell myself for it? Huh? Do you want me to do that? You know, I do that sometimes, right? Come on, Jeannie, what are you saying? She, she doesn't need to hear that. Oh, God! King Farouk. Right. Theater 400. Type of theatrical makeup whose name is found in the title of an Anthony Newley musical. Mark. What is grease paint? Right. Theater 800. Specific term for someone who claims to be Pope when there already is one. I need it. Anti-Pope. Anti-Pope. That's right. And our last clue for a thousand... Mohammed's flight to Mecca ended at this city, considered Islam's second holiest. What is Medina? Phil? What is Medina? Medina, that gives you $15,200 at the end of the double jeopardy round. But Mark, very impressive also. Theater for 800. Answer. This director died just hours before the opening of his last hit musical, 40 Seconds. Who is Gower Champion? Eight. Who is Bob Fawcett? No. Phil? Who is Gower Champion? Correct. I wanted that smile. Oh. God, I wanted that smile so much. In this country, Serbo-Croatian is written... I was pathetic, wasn't I? ...and Croato-Serbian is written in the German alphabet. Mark, what is Yugoslavia? Right. I only keep it Don't take the aqueduct! The system of giving Mommy. two scientific names to all organisms was devised by this Swedish naturalist. Who is Carl Linnaeus? Who is Linnaeus? Carl Linnaeus is correct. Uh, Rudolphs and Rudolphs for 200. First clue there. This She's taking the aqueduct. What the hell difference does it make? She'll get bumped! Who cares? Bill, who's Rudolph Valentina? Oh, she's a cop for she can't see, she'll get mugged. Theater for a thousand. Always a big production. The characters in his play, Hay Fever, were inspired by actress Lorette Taylor and her family. Who is Noel Coward? Bill, who is Noel Coward? Good for a thousand more. They say they fixed the lights for a change. The Muggers will break them again. No, no. No, you see that she's okay. See, water runs downhill. There's no water. No, no. Don't you know what the aqueduct is? The aqueduct carried water to New York City for like over a hundred years. It did that, and then they then they closed it down. But now the ghost water, right? It carries your mother along. Oh, my father. Hey, Jerry. Hey, man. 
You could sit down on the couch and talk to my father. You just couldn't talk to him for long. Hey, Jay! He knew so much. He got all the answers right on Jeopardy. He was a genius. Every answer, every time. That's the thing. Your parents are your gods. I looked at them as an example of what I should find everywhere in the world. And they paid so little attention to my needs. But then it felt like their need was so powerful that it didn't make me feel hurt or angry, but they didn't look into me. Because I felt, okay, this, this just must be the human condition to be so. came in. You took my husband, he was a bastard! I'm gonna kill you! No, Mommy! I'm not your mother. I did you a favor! You shouldn't have intruded on me! Help me clean up, Liz! If they see this, they're gonna take us, too! No! No! Come on, Jeannie! Don't get out of my house! You know! No! No, they're not taking me! Get out! No, 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 no! no. Take me, I'm under you. No fuss now. Uh, what happened to the window? She me, threw the cat out. I'll set you on fire before you take me. Right no, 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 leave me alone. Come, leave come me. on, Jean. Leave me alone. Why don't you take your medication like a good girl? <laughs> she takes it. She just takes too many other things. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, hit her with the ah, ah, Let's get her down. Ah, ah, no, no, no. This place is a mess. What happened here? I fell down. You got a knife? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jeannie, put the knife down. Oh, no, no, no. Jeannie. Okay. Okay. All right, where's the phone? We don't have one. This woman is unfit. No kidding. Look, you girls have a choice. Clean this place up. Help your mother. How about my father? Oh, ignore her. She's a, she's a feminist. I can take you any time Lisa. I want. You keep skipping school. You keep living like Stop. filthy animals. Lizzie. Hey, hey, where are you going? Come back here. Come back. You're going to go to a home. And do you know what those homes are like? They have girls in there that will beat you down. Take everything you've got. You can't have anything. You'll have to clean bathrooms. You'll work there if you don't work here. Back off. Back off. It's not a show. Hey. You got nothing better to do, huh? Mommy! Mommy? Mommy? Couldn't they see? Anyone could see. She was in so much pain. And her struggle was so much on the surface, so there if anyone cared to look. It wasn't like she was running off and being a good mother to somebody else. She just Mommy! didn't have any more to give. Mommy! Let me go! No! 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 no. I was always the smelly kid in class. Lisa stood on the bucket to shower, but Daddy laughed at her and said she'd have to marry a doctor if she had so many expectations. I didn't have any expectations, and so, therefore, I guess, I stunk. And I itched from lice, and it burned between my legs. My teachers were always telling me not to fidget, but my underwear, I didn't know what to do about underwear. I just worried until it fell apart. All right, people, thank you. Recess is over. 
My teeth ached. I was hungry. Satchel, thank you. All right. The teacher's words never seemed to reach me. The words just seemed to fall on the floor. Oh, give me the test, Liz. There's no point in taking that. No, I'll take it. But you've been here, what, three times this month? I'll take it. It doesn't look that hard. Oh, Liz, stay here. You do smell, you know? Doesn't your mother tell you that no, you got... No, no. No, it's my fault. I just forget. Okay. Well, when you're having a shower tonight, you want to you wanna wash back here? Um, I've been saving some things for you. How did you do that? You're never in school. I read a lot. <laughs> what do you read? The encyclopedia. The lady upstairs, Eva, she found one in the dumpster. The whole set. Well, except for Arda S. If you had asked me about Arda S, I would have gotten it wrong. I was just lucky. Oh, Liz, you have to come to school. Okay. No, I mean it. Look, it's ridiculous. You're way too smart not to be here. I don't understand why you don't come. I will. How could I tell her that school made me sad? I didn't know how to talk to her. I didn't know how to talk to anyone. My house wasn't a place you could come out of and be normal. Well, you have to come every day, OK? If you don't, then I have to call child welfare. And it's not a threat. It's a promise. Good. You gotta make good marks. You don't want to be an idiot. And you keep it up now, you hear me? Now your mother's back. My mother's back? Well, we had a nice quiet couple of months. Didn't we? The only good thing about my mother being taken away to the nut house was that when she came back, she was my mom again. She cooked and she cleaned. Once she even tried to learn how to be a court stenographer. For me, that was the good, quiet couple of months before the drugs came back in. Mommy? Mommy? Glad you're home? Well, uh, this hospital wasn't too bad. It's too green. The walls and and there were bars on the windows. I'm sorry. You had to see that, you know. I'm used to it. But now I'm glad you're home. I got a hundred. No, 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 a hundred is good. A hundred is perfect. Didn't you ever get a hundred? I didn't go to school. I ran away too young. But don't you ever run away from home. I won't. I, I'll, I'll always be here for you. I know, Mommy. I'll always be here. Always. I 
know, Mommy. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. Liz, I... I have AIDS. No. No. No, no, no. Baby, no. They, they say... Don't be, don't be afraid. That they say I, 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 I might, I, they say I could live forever, okay? But I can't live here. I'm gonna go home. This is home. No, home to my, home to my pops. I'm gonna take you and Lisa out of here. No, 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 I have to stay here. I gotta stop the drugs. And I can't do it with Daddy around. But he'll be alone. Liz, Lisa's already gone over. Just pack up your things and let's go. No, because cause you said Pops beat you. You said he raped your sister. This is the way it has to be now. No, stay here. I can't. Stay, Mommy. Everything was falling apart. I thought if I stayed, I could stop it. I thought if I stayed, everything would somehow stay the same. Where's your mother and sister? They're gone. Where's your father? He's got to get some food. He'll be right back. Your teacher called. You're still not going to school. You're never in school. We got to do something about this. Miss Wanda warned you. I warned you. Every one of your caseworkers has warned you. This has been going on for years. We all said clean up this place and go to school. Clean up and go to school. And you haven't done either one of them, have you? Elizabeth, have you? No. So what are we going to do? I don't know. I do. You're going into the system. I'm taking her. But, but, but things are better now. My daddy buys me baked potatoes every day. You're not paying the rent. You're not getting her to school. I, I, I tell her to go. I told you to go to school. She, she's got a mind of her own. She's a feminist. This is not a joking matter. Pack her a suitcase. Now. No, no. Uh, no. I'm sorry. I'll go to school. Please. This isn't working. We need an adult who's responsible. M my grandpa's responsible. My grandpa will take me. My sister's there. Your sister goes to school. I'll go to school. I'll go to school, please. Don't make a fuss. I'll talk to him. And if he'll take you, he'll be out in 24 hours. I'm sorry. And if he won't? You'll have time to figure out how you want to live your life. Figure out my life. Do people really do that? Do they do that while they're falling down a deep, dark hole? Buzzed in. Locked in. It was like visiting my mother. Only I was in the crazy house now.
And I didn't get out in 24 hours. I didn't get out in 24 days. No one wanted me. They just left me there. Why don't you go to school? That's the big problem we've got here. Why don't you go? From what I can see, you've got a discipline problem. to see you first. Thanks, Lisa. Don't screw this up. We're doing okay. And uh, don't expect too much. She's dying. When I think of my life, this is the time I like to think of. When I got back, when my mother's mind was clear. There was no cocaine, so her schizophrenia medicine kept on working. And we'd go to the cafe and sit and talk and eat hamburgers. We were together. Even with her bad eyes, I think she could see me. Well, she could see my outline. <laughs> and for a while, I had my mother again. In Wood Park. Yeah, I remember. We used to slide down that hill. Remember, you'd put down that old cardboard and we'd pretend it was a sled? <coughs> you remember that? How about the tickle monster? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we screamed and laughed about that one. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good mom, wasn't I? Wasn't I? I <laughs> mean... Yeah, mom. You were fine. Yeah. Well, I'm... I'm real, I'm real glad we're all together, you know, you, you and, and me and Lisa. What if Dad went off drugs, too? Wouldn't that be great? Maybe we could even go back to University Avenue. Yeah. Your you, you dad, um, he, he, he's in a shelter, you know, right now. He, he, I'm, I'm afraid he lost the apartment. He, he kind of ignored the rent, so, you <laughs> know. Well, what about my stuff? Got thrown out. All of it? Even my encyclopedias? Look, Pumpkin, I'm, I'm, I'm real sorry, you know? They, they, they boarded up the whole place. There was, there was nothing, there was nothing we could do. It just, you know, crap happens, I mean. Look, you know, I gotta, I gotta go around the corner and, and see a few friends. Just, just for, for a minute, okay? You, know, you finish your burger, and uh, I'll, I'll be, I'll be right back. Just be a, just be a minute. Just be a minute, baby.
So that was that. No going back. I hadn't kept anything together. I'd only made things worse. If I'd only gone to school, if I'd only... If I'd only... So, that part of my life was over. I guess the new part had begun. Elizabeth Murray? And you're her mother? Yeah. Hi. I'll uh, take you to your class now. Bye, Mom. Bye. Uh, are you going to get home okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to go down and see my buddies. You know, they'll take care of me. Maybe I should just come with you. You got to stay in school. Otherwise, I'll take you away again. Go, go, go. So we have now Bert, Chris, adjectives and prepositions. Is that deal? Yeah. I wasn't the smelly kid anymore. I'd learned to shower every day at the group home. And my clothes, even if they came from the thrift shop, all fit. But I still didn't know how to be in school. I still didn't know how to be normal. You know what I'm saying. People, can we try to settle down? Chris, would you like to try diagram number 12? <clears throat> no. Bobby? <laughs> find him amusing, Miss Elizabeth? Please don't call me that. That's your name, according to these forms. Liz or Lizzie. Liz or Lizzie is a nickname. Our nicknames. No, I'm afraid not. Jesus, call the girl she wants to be called. Yeah. Elizabeth's a fine name. It's the name of a queen. The Elizabethan age was the age of Shakespeare. What's your problem with it? My mother calls me Elizabeth when she's going insane. <laughs> Liz, then. Bobby, the sentence? So, where'd you go to school before this? I didn't. How'd you pull that off? I was in a group home. Is that freaky? Yeah. Well, you're not a freak. No. It's too bad. I am. My birthday's coming up. Yeah? When? Oh, you'll know. I'm, uh, I'm gonna wear my dad's trench coat. I'm gonna come to school with nothing on but my trench coat and a pair of boots. I'm gonna flash all the teachers. Happy birthday. You don't believe me? Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Before me. No one. This is a great place. I've never had a sofa before. Oh, my pops is kind of cranky. Oh, we have to be out by six, by the way. Liz, take. Um, where's the phone? We'll do another one of those contest things. Follow the court. You're never gonna win. Okay, you know what? Shut up. Okay, I just gotta. Ah, oh, this number before I forget it. Did anybody get the hypotenuse? Come on, Bobby, give it a rest. The test is until like a week. Hey, can I have a piece of that chicken in the fridge? Sure. 
Is this six already? It's only 4.30. Some drunk lady. Aw, oh, gross out. Puked right on the door. Oh, I'm going out the window. <sighs> I don't feel very good. Can you help me, please? Yeah, oh. what, what happened? Come on, this oh. way. Yeah. Oh! Oh, there she blows. Oh. <laughs> All right, up. All right. Uh, focus, focus, focus. Mm -hmm. focus. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I just need a hug, okay? Andy, I want a hug. I want a hug. Come on. Oh, God. She couldn't take living straight. Why should I expect her to take dying? Isn't dying the hardest thing anyone's ever done? Everyone's gone. Except you. Yeah. So where's your grandpa sleep? Here. Why he sleep with his daughter? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think like that. Yeah, but you don't know. He did stuff to her sister when they were younger. She told me that. Why her sister, not her? I figure he did them both. Is her sister crazy too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And their mother too. That's why I didn't want to come here. You know, my mom's getting back with my dad. I wish my mom would. He does stuff to my sister. You don't have a sister. Lucky for her. Did you tell your mother? Yeah, I, uh, I told her when she left him, and she cursed him out, said she was going to call the cops, and now she's getting back with him. You know, I, I asked her how she could do that, and she said she missed him. She missed him. <laughs> I was seven when he first stuck it in. Ow. Chris! Oh! Chris, don't! Oh. Move in with me. <gasps> what, stay here? Yeah. Well, what will your grandfather say? Well, he won't know. Oh, we'll work it out so I'll never see you. I mean, uh. we won't get up until after he leaves for work. I mean, he's like a robot anyway, out by and eight. Back and... at six. Out. Pops, she has no place to stay. That's not my problem. No, oh. Leave her alone! Don't! Uh. Your mother's dying. Your piece of trash father walked out and stuck me with a lot of you. Did I ask for this in my old age? Did I? <sighs> what are you doing? That suits me. You'll end up trash anyway. Just like your parents. So I left. You want to go get your stuff, or you going to leave me out here alone? Huh? Do any of us bargain for our lives? It seems to me we just kind of fall into them. And then we have to do the best we can. Let's go. My mother was dying. My father was gone. But I had to believe the road would rise up to meet me. 
I was 15 when I went out into the world. What's a home, anyway? A roof? Bed? A place where, when you go there, they have to take you? If so, then I was 15 when I became homeless. Spare some change? Get a job. How you doing tonight? God bless you, kid. But sometimes I felt like I'd never had a home in my life. other times I knew wherever my mother was that's where my home was But month by month, she was fading away. Liz? Yeah. Where did you go? I've, uh, I've been staying with friends. Oh, I miss you. Pops, uh, he hit me and, you know, I, I couldn't stay here. Oh. Look, Lisa said he stopped going to school. I'm gonna go back. When? When you get better. They tease me. They, they tease me at the bar because I, sh cause I shake. <laughs> I, I can't stop shaking. I think that's uh, that's because of the drinking. I, you should probably stop. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. You're gonna get better. Okay. I 
Love you, Mom. I love you. Took up a collection. She doesn't come here anymore because she thinks you're always laughing at her. She's dead, hon. She died yesterday morning. Sometimes I feel like there's skin on the world. And those of us who are born under it can see through it. We just can't get through it. My mother was being buried in section 51, the charity plot. My mother was in there. Strangers had put her in there. Was she naked? Was she frightened? No. She was gone. Come on, let's go. No, wait a minute. There should be a service. There should be a priest. What's supposed to happen? When you go, we're gonna bury him. That's all. It's a she. It's my mother. There's no priest? Not in these cases. You didn't know that? She's dead. Put her in the ground. Priest or no priest, what did it matter? She was gone. She was already rotting. Sorry. Was I supposed to believe she'd found eternal peace? Is he coming, Liz? Yeah, just go. Hey, wait.
Liz, I'm getting out of here, okay? Liz, you know, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't do this anymore. You know, so I'm going. Where? The group home. Crazy house. No, Liz, it's this, this, this is crazy. You should come with me. Yeah. So I'll see you around. People die. Things decay. Everything that seems so solid is meaningless. All that's left is the gestures we make. Gestures in air. That's what we remember. I remember riding with my mother through the leaves. The year ending, but her arms were warm around me when I was little, and she was well. That was long ago. Maybe it only happened once. Maybe she betrayed me a thousand times. It didn't matter. Math was always my weakest subject. We remember what we choose. Hey, get out of there. Where are you going to put the stone? No stones here. There's no room. In a week, there would be no trace of her. But what did it matter? This wasn't the real world. We only really live in each other's hearts. She lived in my heart, but I lived nowhere. I was all alone in the world. You're 16 years old with an eighth grade education, and you're on a downward spiral that will end in a worse place than you ever dreamed. You've burned every bridge, you've worn out every welcome, and everyone who's ever believed in you, you've let down. Eva? I don't want to be an idiot. I want to go to school. It's 10.30. I'm sorry, the subway got stuck. And... I'm sorry, too, but it's really too late. School started three weeks ago. We're just about full. With kids who get here on time, honey. I read the brochure. 
intensive student participation for the development of a just community. I just need one chance. You can wait and talk to David. But he's got this meeting right after. Right for you. Well, I've been thrown out of everything else. You have? Public school, private school? You pay. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Now, why would that be? Probably me. Probably you. Is that, is that what they said? Or that... I knew at that moment I had to make a choice. I could submit to everything that was happening and live a life of excuses, or I could push myself. I could push myself and make my life good. Okay, we'll get back to you by Friday. Okay, thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure, guys. Elizabeth? Liz. Liz, I'm sorry. We're making our last decisions now. I'm already late. Well, can I just talk to you for a minute? 30 seconds? Well, there's the application. There's the whole big essay question, too. I've already done the essay. I really want this. I haven't had a lot of grown-ups that have proven to be trustworthy or that they're in it for the long run, so maybe I don't know how to talk to you, but uh, my parents both use drugs, a lot of them. I won't go near them, but I guess I've kind of lived the lifestyle. I'm embarrassed now about how laid back I've been. I mean, I've never even really been to school except for the eighth grade, but... Well, your grades are very good in elementary school. I used to show up the last week and take the tests, and that's how I got promoted. I'm smart. I know I can succeed. I just... I just need the chance. I need the chance to climb out of this place that I've been born in. I mean, everyone I know, they're just they're angry and tired. And they're trying to survive. But I know that there's a world out there that's better, that's better developed, and I want to live in it. Why now? My mother died of AIDS. She, she died a couple of months ago, and uh, it was a real slap in the face. I guess I always thought that she was going to get better and take care of me. It's pretty stupid, huh? She'd never taken care of me. I took care of her. She was my baby. But now she's gone. So... <laughs> now it's time to take care of yourself, right? Can you get here on time, Liz? I'll sleep here if I have to. Okay, you're in. But you told the others you wouldn't know till Friday. You're in. David. <laughs> Thank you. You just changed my life. Fast work, man. We just have to file the paperwork. We've got your transcripts. That's just the easy stuff. Address, phone number. We have to have a meeting with a parent, legal guardian. Get that in. We're good to go. I need your help. Please. Such a production. Yeah. You know, such a production. Why don't, why don't you just stay in the Bronx and then just go to Kennedy? I don't know how to go to a normal school. Why, why? This isn't a normal school? 
Well, it's public, but it's like private. Yeah. Dad. Dad. Huh? Oh. You know, I, th I think I can do this. Yeah, that, that's good. I don't think I can. Yeah, you can. You can. But just, just say you're a, a long haul truck driver. That's why. But just, just say you're a, a long haul truck driver. That's why they'll never see you. <laughs> We're living with your girlfriend now, also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, a long haul. Oh, you gave me a girlfriend. Eva. Eva, I stand. Oh, that's not good. Eva's old enough to be my mother. Dad, I just, I just need an address. You know, a phone number they can call. Please. Hey. I mean, they can't know I'm homeless. I'll call the city and I'll get locked up again. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Mr. Murray, I'm... Yeah, I'm, I'm Peter. P Peter Finnerty. Oh. Yeah, I, I never actually married Liz's mother, so... Oh, okay, well, sit down, please. Come <sighs> on. Um, uh... I'm grateful that you're taking my daughter in. This is, this is a pretty nice place. Well, we're still new. We have big ambitions. Yeah, so does Liz, I guess. She's a feminist. Well, I expect you knew that already. Yeah, her mother, uh, her mother actually was, was beautiful, looked like a movie star, but her mother was also a kind of a feminist, too, or something. Anyway, I, I thought when I met her that she was just, you know, hey, spirited, but uh, actually she was completely insane. We just need you to sign right here. <clears throat> And to give us contact information, address, and phone number. Yeah, okay. Um, University Avenue, 3458. Is there an apartment? Yep, 2B. 3B. 3B, 3B. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. We moved, up, we moved upstairs. Phone number? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, 718. Um, uh, 555. 555. Five, Seven, five, five, seven, seven, seven. Sixty-seven. Five, 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 fifty-seven, sixty-seven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, my memory, my mind's totally shot. So that's it. I got stuff I got to do. Oh, so. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for coming. Thank you. For... Can I start now? It's refreshing to have someone who actually wants to come to school. Yeah. I'm gonna walk him out. They gave you tokens here? No, I, I got a job. Yeah, I remember, I remember when you were a kid, you used to bag groceries down on Fordham Road, put food in the fridge. How old were you? Eight. I'm not a people person. You understand that. You know, I'm, I'm just not a people person, Liz. You know, it's got nothing to do with you. You know, it's not personal. You came today, though. Yeah. I love you, Dad. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't love me. It's a waste of energy. You know, when, when I was little, you were the most interesting thing in my world. And everyone was just talking about drugs or sex or, you know, just trying to survive the day. But you always had ideas. Because of you, I know that there's another way of being. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. They, they take care of me fine down at the shelter. You know, I'm actually, actually, I'm going to get my own apartment. You know, they like to do that. And you can come stay with me, visit me anytime. Your own apartment? Yeah. No, they like to do that, you know. They like to keep the people like me out of the shelters. You know, you know, like the, the, pe the people, the patients. You no, know, people with AIDS, so. Hey, listen. Hey, no, no, no. A lot has changed since Gene. They got all these medicines now. And I'm clean, so I'm gonna live forever. <laughs> I'm going to live forever. Stay in school. 
I blew this. But you can do this. Golf Tonkin. Remember the main. Anybody? Franco-Prussian War? Yo, did you get Bismarck? You didn't get Bismarck. I didn't get Bismarck either. No, I thought Bismarck was a kind of roll. It's a kind of cake. It's a Kaiser roll. So is Bismarck a Kaiser? Stop talking about food. You're making me hungry. <laughs> Dave, are we getting a textbooks next year? Because I keep losing these things. Hmm, textbooks. Why don't we use textbooks? Anyone? They're too heavy? Bzzz. They are, but no cigar. <laughs> They're too expensive. The school's too poor. Bzzz. I'm keeping my cigars today. You, new girl. Her name is Liz. Yeah, geez, Dave. She's been here a week. Try and remember. Liz, sue me. Here. Textbook. Text book. Go ahead, open it up. What do you see? Words. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of words? The words of the author. <laughs> no, no, no. This is important. And what do we have here? A lot of other people's words. Why do I want you to have them? Because one point of view gives you a one-dimensional world. Cigars. Cigars. Bismarck. Marx. The guy who sold me the bubblegum cigars. Why on earth would we want to confine ourselves to his story? His story. But isn't that the deal, Dave? I mean, is there an official history? No, girl. Tell them what history is. History is all of us. All our stories count. That's it. Grab your papers. I'll be in the lounge if you want to talk about them. Liz, this one's yours. Hey, new girl. You let me in and you don't remember my name. Oh, I remember your name. I'd just like the others to gang up on your side. You're pretty smart. Huh. So are you. You gave me an A minus. Yeah, I thought it was a very good paper. How do I make it an A? Liz, an A minus is an excellent mark. And this is your first school work in what, forever? If my words count, I want them to be right. Okay. Well, your premise is a good one. still doing here? Algebra. Yeah, well, it's after 11. I'm locking up. How many classes are you taking? Um, the regular five. And the uh, Saturday programming. The night school French and the after school science thingies. Ten. Now you see why I need the before school math. It's an awful lot. 17. I don't want to be 21 before I finish high school. So you're trying to do, what, four years of high school and three? Two. You need the before school math, too. Yeah. You're going to kill yourself, you know. No. Now I'm going to live.
had it down. The B train took 70 minutes to do its entire run. Up and back four times, and I would be at school just a little early. And David would let me in. For the first time, my life had some order I could count on. for me. I did. I've been looking for a long time. Just, you haven't been in any of our places, you know? I'm here now, and I'm going to a new school. You'd like it. Hey. Hey, come on. Oh, everything's great. We're together. Last one out, first one in. Uh, no, that describes you, David. How'd you get so dedicated? Well, I'm such a privileged jerk, I wanted to give something back. And this is? My friend, Chris. My best friend. Hi, Chris. I want her to come here, too. Well, it's no party, you know? It's a tough place. But if she's good enough for you, she's good enough for me. Come on in. So, what were you putting on the board? Well, we decided we would send our top 10 students in the school on a trip to Boston. Cool. You ever been? I've never been out of New York. We went to Queens once. Well, you're going. Come on. No way am I one of the top 10 students. Well, you're not one of the top. You're the top. You've got the best grades in this whole place, Liz. Yeah, so what? She's going to Boston? All expenses paid. How long? Five days. You okay, Liz? Yeah. I've just always been trash, you know? You're not trash. This is to get you thinking about college. What's college like? It's all crap. Shut up. You can come, too. Can't she? Sure. She does the work. Yeah, not friggin' interested. Thanks. Come on, Chris. Dream a little. What, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, boy. I've been growed since I was seven. Chris. I mean, after high school. It's okay. No, it's not okay. I, I'll be a garbage man. I'll be a prostitute. Who cares what the hell I'm gonna be? Welcome to Harvard, guys. Look at the great photo op. So does it look like you thought it would? Better. Unattainably better. Liz, they're just people. Not people like me. Why not people like me? What made them so different? Because of where they were born? I was working as hard as I could so I didn't end up on food stamps or hustling. What, what if I worked even more? I was so close to the skin now I could touch it.
could be a reach. It's not impossible. Don, are there any other scholarships in here? That's quite a few. Write 1,500 words on the importance of the free market and the free world and win $500. Yeah, I'd only need 70 of those every year. Uh, there was something brand new in from the New York Times. Maybe I didn't put it in yet. $12,000 every year for four years. What do you have to do? Attach a brief essay describing what you believe to be the most significant academic achievement and how you have overcome any challenges or obstacles. Can I have a copy of this? I want to stand beside people on the sidewalk and not be so far beneath them. I want to go to Harvard and become very developed, read all the best books. And then I find myself thinking, what if I just go crazy and use every bit of my potential to do that? I have to do it. I have no choice. Am I late? No, I'm early. I made you some coffee. One sweet and low, right? Right. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Can I have a stamp for this? That's a New York Times scholarship. You haven't mailed that in yet? When's the deadline? Tomorrow. I gave you that four months ago, Liz. What were you waiting for? For today. For me to turn 18. It's your birthday. Aww, happy birthday. But you know, I don't think there's an age requirement. No. Thank you. But now I could tell the truth, that I was homeless, and no one could come and take me away. Lisa? Liz? Yeah. What are you doing here? I have this interview. Um, I'm a finalist for a, a big New York Times scholarship. So. But I don't have anything to wear. You want my clothes? Well, nothing fancy, just you know, something I can put over this. Mama sold my coat once. Couldn't go to school. I remember. Mm. I cried. I loved going to school so much. You never went to school. Why would they give you a scholarship? Because I'm homeless and uh, I'm doing really well in school now. <laughs> You're not homeless, Liz. You could stay here. No, I couldn't. You know that. Pop hates you. I'm going blind. Like Mama. Like Mama. I'm scared.
Uh -huh. Liz, they kicked me out of the group home and, you know, all my stuff. I can't kick you out. You're not 18 yet. They're going to put me in Brooklyn. I don't want to go to Brooklyn. You have to help me. I have an interview. All right. No, Liz, you can't leave me. I have to. You can't just leave me I here. have to. Chris! Chris! Just let me get through this one thing, and then you can come back and go to school with me. I don't want to go to school. I don't belong there. Neither do you. Yes, I do. You think they let people like us into Harvard? just a speck. It can all happen without you. Situations are not conducive to what you want for yourself. Someone else's needs, someone else's plight is going to be stronger than yours is. I think people just get frustrated with how harsh life can be. So they spend their time dwelling on that frustration and calling it anger, keeping their eyes shut to the wholeness of the situation, to all the little tiny things that have come together to make it what it is. Because I was turned so inward by my mom and dad, I got a chance to see how all the little tiny things come together to make the final product. So I was never inclined to wonder why this or, or why that. I knew why. Not that I was happy about it. In fact, I was really sad about it most of the time. But I was very accepting. I was very accepting. I just always knew that I needed to get out. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us? I loved my mother so much. I mean, she was a, a drug addict. She was an alcoholic. She, she was legally blind. She was schizophrenic. But I never forgot that she did love me. Even if she did, all the time. All the time, all, all the time. I hope you all know how much I really need this. Oh, I can't go to college or anything without it. She earned a 95 average and finished at the top of her class of 150. She did it while completing four years of high school in two. She did it while homeless, her mother dead, her father a drug addict living in shelters. And any way I describe this can't do justice to her accomplishments. So I'll just introduce to you our sixth New York Times scholarship winner, Liz Murray. Everything's changed. Uh, my life will never be the same. And I don't know what else to say except for thank you. Thank you very much.
Liz! Liz! How'd you do this? How could I not do it? My parents showed me what the alternative was. Didn't you ever feel sorry for yourself? Sorry? Sleeping in subways, eating out of dumpsters? That had always uh, been my life. And I really, I feel that I got lucky because any sense of security was pulled out from under me, so I was forced to look forward. I had to, there uh, was no going back. And I reached a point where I just thought, all right, I'm gonna work as hard as I possibly can and see what happens. And now I'm going to college and, uh, and the New York Times is going to pay. <laughs> So you were lucky, but is there anything you'd change if you were able? Yeah. I'd give it back. All of it. If I could have my family back. I got into Harvard. I got a job at the New York Times. I got an apartment. I don't have to carry my whole life with me anymore. I don't have to carry my whole life with me. But I do. Everyone I've known, everything I've done. Pieces chip off. I forget the little things. And it's still hard to carry alone. So that's why I've told you. That's why I've told you my story. And now I can lay that burden down, put it to rest, and, and I can go on. Hi, Mom. Don't close your eyes. They may 